Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone. In this video, I'll be opening Apple TV 4K box and going through its setup process. I had an old LG 42 inch HD 1080p TV in the basement. I moved it to my new office room. This is a dumb TV, a non smart TV. I could buy a Roku player or Chromecast that is about half the price of Apple TV, but to be part of Apple ecosystem, Apple TV is the better choice. I can browse all my photos, play Apple Arcade games, which is now part of the bundle, airplay any content from iPhone or iPad, and dedicate it as a secondary HomeKit hub. Let's start with opening the package. This is a refurbished product. I always buy a refurbished Apple product if it is available. They are as good as new ones and comes with same one year warranty and costs about 10% less than the new ones. We have Apple TV 4K here. There are three ports at the back, power, HDMI, and Ethernet. Next, the remote. This is a second generation Apple TV remote with the top half, touch surface, menu, home, Siri, play, pause, and volume control buttons. Some paperwork and uh, USB to lightning cable to charge the remote. The remote battery lasts for more than a couple of months actually. And at the end, a power cable. One very important thing that was in the envelope which I didn't show was white Apple stickers. The setup. The setup is pretty simple. I did try with iPhone but for some reason it didn't work. So I went ahead with manual setup. Connecting to Wi-Fi network, my Apple ID username and password. It sent a code to verify the login. Password always required to avoid any accidental charges. I don't have a TV provider. Turn on home screen syncing to be consistent with other Apple TVs. Set my room name. Location services on for information like weather. Automatically download new aerial screen saver videos. Agree terms and condition and the setup is complete. Now it is downloading the apps which I have on other Apple TVs and syncing the home screen. Let's go through the settings. First, let's go to general and about. So here is the information about the Apple TV, its model, serial number, TV OS, and etc. Next is screensaver. Type is Arial. And uh, these are the 4K videos um, taken by Apple. Uh, you can select different themes, landscape, earth, underwater, cityscape. And I have set to download weekly one video and here is the preview. Appearance. I've set it to dark. Sleep after 15 minutes. So Restrictions. You can set restrictions if you have kids at your home so that uh, explicit content doesn't play. Privacy. Several privacy settings just uh, based on your comfort level. Uh, 
manage storage so if you want to delete any app you can delete it from here and uh, it will show you how much space any app is taking background app refresh is set to on next is users and account uh, you can now add multiple users to apple tv next is video and audio uh, my current tv has uh, 1080p resolution and uh, match content so dynamic range is turned on if the source is has um, dynamic range and also the frame rate different audio settings you can choose based on the needs and the kind of equipment you have then we have airplay and home kit so i'm just gonna finish the setup it's done now airplay is on and uh, home kit is connected remotes and devices settings for apple remote you can connect a bluetooth device to apple tv and etc different features for accessibility setting to enable automatic updates and install apps and etc software updates all updates are done there's no any update available now and it's all done so let's check the speed of the Wi-Fi connection Wow 268 megabits per second it's it's pretty good and 16 megabits per second upload that's very nice that was it I hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do so this encourages me keep making videos take care of yourself